If you're going to be a network technician or a desktop support person, you need to understand how IP4 works. That means you've got to understand some subnetting. Now, if you're lucky, your organization, your home is set up where the IP addresses and the subnets are broken on an 8-bit boundary, which means we can look at the IP addresses strictly in the base 10 numbering system. We don't have to look at the binary. Let me show you how that works and how we can analyze an address and see its network range. So here's a typical situation with an IP address. I have an IP address here listed as 172.22.92.100 slash 24. So the 24 is a shorthand notation that is often used to say what part of this IP address is network and what part of this IP address is the host or the computer number. And the slash 24 simply explains to us how to write the subnet mask. So if we're working on 8-bit boundaries, each number in an IP address is 8 bits. So all of this number will be either, it'll all be network, this will all either be network or host, this will all be network or host, and in this case this will all be host. So slash 24 says the first 24 bits of this IP address are network. And since each number in an IP address is 8 bits, this would be 8, 16, 24. So slash 24 in this case is saying my network number is 172, 22, 92. And we need to know this to be able to figure out what the range of computers that can be on this network are. So another way of saying this is this is computer number 100 on network 172, 22, 92. Now to make that even more clear to the computer, the way we put this in is we do a subnet mask. And basically the shorthand way of knowing this is for every 8 bits you have in that slash 24, that's 1, 2, 55. So there's 8 bits. That's 16 bits. That's 24 bits. And once you've satisfied all those bits, the rest of the subnet mask is zero. So this pair right here is what I would have to put into my router or my switch or my network device to tell it what network it is and what computer it is on that network. So once we've got the subnet address of this network, the things we want to know about the network are what's the network address, what's the first computer that can be on that network, what is the last computer that can be on that network, and what's the broadcast. And then we probably also want to know what's going to be the next network. Well, in, once again, when we're working with 8-bit boundaries so that each one of these numbers is totally either network or host, like in this case, this is my computer number 100, then it's easy. So once we've got the subnet mask, and I tell you what, I'll just make this red in color to make it stand out, that is telling us, oh come on, let's go to red, there we go, that is telling us that this computer is on network 172, 2292, and I can actually grab that, cut and paste it. Now, the rule of thumb to get the network address of a network, it's real easy. All you do is you take the part of the address that is host and you just turn them all off. So I'm going to turn all eight of these bits off, and if all eight bits are turned off, that's a zero. So I am on network 172.22.92.0. Now, Conversely, there's a special address in networking that means send this message to everybody on the network, on this network. And that's known as the broadcast address. The way you get the broadcast address is, once again, you take the network number, unchanged, there it is, we're on network 172.22.92, and 
instead of turning off all the host bits, we turn them all on. Well, if all eight bits of a host address are turned on, if all eight bits of this number are turned on, the biggest number you can store in eight bits is 255. So that's telling me that the broadcast address for this network is 172.22.92.255. If I send a network message out of my computer to the network with this address, it will go to all computers on that network. So this would be a broadcast to every computer on your home network, for instance. So then the question is, how do I get the first computer I can have on that network and the last computer I can have on that network? Well, once again, we know the network. The subnet mask has said that the first three numbers of this IP address is the network. So in this case, it's going to be the same all the way down. You notice this is not a coincidence. These numbers are the same because that's the network portion. When we're looking at the network address, the broadcast address, the first and last hosts, the only thing that's changing is the host portion, the computer portion. So it's real easy how you get the host address. You take whatever the, the network address is, which is zero, and you add one. So the first computer we can have on this network is 172.22.92.1. And this is typically your default gateway. This is your home router. If this was your home network, this is how that would be set up. The last host address is also very, very easy to get. All we have to do is back up one. If our broadcast is 255, the last computer we can have on this network is 254. So I'm sitting here and I notice that my caption here, I've got a space in the word broadcast, which I shouldn't. I'll fix that. I'm not going to re-record the video. So what have we got here? Anytime you're working with a slash 24, here's a shortcut for you. Anytime you're working with a slash 24 network that has a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0, it's going to be zero for the network address in the last octet, the last number, one for the first host, 254 for the last host, 255 for the broadcast. It's always going to be this with a slash 24. So that's a shortcut you can take when you're getting the range of the network. And this is pretty typical for a home network to have a slash 24, although home networks usually don't have this, this network number. They're usually not 172.22.92. Kind of the last bit of information we're interested in getting is if, if this network is 172.22.92, or this is the network address, 172.22.92.0, what is the next network? Well, this also turns out to be pretty easy. There's a rule of thumb here. We're going to take the lowest of the network number numbers, and we're going to add one. So instead the next, if this is network 92, the next network is going to be 93, and network addresses always have zeros for the host bits. So my next network is going to be 172.22.93.0, because network addresses have all the host bits are turned off. All the host bits are turned off for a network address. So... You know, this is me on the network, 172.22.92.100. My router is probably 172.22.92.1, although some networking devices make your router, your home router, the last host on the network. So you could see 172.22.92.254, and this is the special address that means broadcast. Send this to all stations. This is like the old cop movie where they get on the radio and they say, calling all cars, calling all cars, and that's sending out a broadcast message to everybody on that frequency. In this case, we're sending out a message to everybody on network 172.22.92. So let me show you another example of this. Let me clear the board and set up for another example. All right, through the magic of pausing my video, I have cleared the board and put in a new IP address. So this IP address right here is 192.168.1.105. 
slash 24. So first thing we have to do when we're trying to figure this out, if you have this slash notation, is we have to turn the slash 24 into the subnet mask. Because remember, the subnet mask tells us what part of this address is network and what part of this address is host, is the computer number. So for every 8 bits, for every 8 of that 24, we're going to write down a 255. Because 255 is the biggest number you can write with 8 bits. So there's 8, 16, 24. Since we've hit all 24, we put in a 0. So my subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255.0. .255 .255 .255 and by the way, a lot of networking problems, they're just going to give you the IP address and the subnet mask. Now, we want to find out the network address, first host, last host, and broadcast. And I like to go what I call from what I call the bookends. I like to get the network address and the broadcast address first. So we know that when we're getting the network address, first, last, and broadcast address, that the network portion is not going to change. So for all of these right here, it's going to be 192.168.1. Oh, look at that. I lost my dots right there. Let me fix that. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to, got to have the detail. There, that looks better. So I know that all of these since we're looking for the boundaries of network 192.168.1, these are not going to change no matter what, if it's the broadcast, the first address, the last host address, or the network address. So how do we get the network address? It's real easy. You turn off all the host bits. We're going to turn off all eight of the bits for the last number, so that's going to be zero. Now my other bookend is the broadcast, and what we do here is we turn on all the host bits. Well, if you turn all 8 bits on, even if you don't know binary, that's 255. So my range of this network runs from 0 to 255. So now we just have to fill in what's in between. The first host is going to be one more than the network number, so that's going to be 1. The last host is going to be one less than the broadcast, so that's going to be 254. So any, like I said, any time you have a slash 24, you're going to see 0, 1, 254, 255. And to get the next network, it's we're going to take the old network address for this network, which is 192.168.1.0. We're going to take the lowest of the network numbers, which is the dot one, and we're going to just add one. So my next network is going to be 192.168.2.0. That's the next network. Now, by the way, this is what you will typically see on your home networks. You will be on network 192.168.1. Your router your gateway, your wireless access point is going to be 192.168.1.1. This is typically, it's not always true. And your computer is going to be somewhere after this. It's somewhere, it's going to be somewhere between 1 and 254. That be, and all the different devices on your network are going to be something besides the 1, because the 1's being used by your router, so they could be 100, 101, 102, 103, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, depending on how many network devices you have connected to your wireless access point. Alright, so so far I have shown you if it's a slash 24 we're always going to have that set up right there. Let me show you if this number is different, if we have a different subnet mask. So give me a second here, I am going to reset the board and give you a different scenario here. Alright, so this time I've given you a network uh, an IP address of 201.42.5.15, but this time it's a slash 16. So the first thing we got to do is write that subnet mask so we know what part of this is network and what part of this is host. So we come down to the subnet mask, and remember, for every 255, that's 8 bits. So there's 8, there's 16. I've satisfied all my subnet bits all my subnet mask bits, so the others are going to be zero. So my subnet mask is going to be 255.255.0.0. And that tells me this is my network, this is my host. So 
another way of saying this is this is computer 5.15 on network 201.42. Well, if this is my network portion for all of these right here, that's going to be unchanged. They're all of these. My network address, my first, last, and broadcast are all on this network 201.42. So going through this again, how do you get the network address? And this goes back to the terminology, all host bits off. Well, now I have 16 host bits. If these eight are turned off, that's going to be a zero. And if these eight are turned off, that's going to be a zero. So we are on uh, network number 2014200. That's my network number. Now I like to work on the bookends. I like to get the extreme ends of the network. So my broadcast, what does it say right here? All host bits are on. So I've got to turn these eight bits on. And whenever you turn eight of them on, that's a 255. But I have to turn on all the host bits. So I've got to turn these on as well. So the broadcast for this network is 201.42.255.255. So now I've got the range of my network, okay? It starts at 201.42.00, and it ends at 201.42.255.255. Now I've got to get my first host and my last host, okay? Well, all we have to do to get the first host is it's one more than the network number. So I just take that lowest number, the zero, on the last octet, on that last column, change it from a zero to a one. That's my first host. The first computer that can be on this network is 201.42.0.1. Now let's get the last host. So the last host is one less than the broadcast. So we're going to take the 255.255 that's the broadcast. We're going to go down to that lowest number and make it a 254. So the last computer I can have on this network is 201.42.255.254. So here's the range of my networks. It can be the first computer can be 0 0.1 and then 0 0.2, 0 0.3, blah 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 until we get to 0 0.255. Then it'll be 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, and it'll keep going until we get all the way up to 255.254 because in 8 bits the biggest number we can store is 255. Well, how do we get the next network? Take your current network, that's 201.42.00. Okay, add 1 to the lowest network number. So the lowest network number is 42, so my next network will be 43. So you may say to yourself, why do I have to understand this? Why does this make any difference? Well, if we take this situation right here for one PC. You know, here's here's PC one, and then we've got uh, PC two, but we have this situation. PC two is on a different network from. PC1. PC1's on 201.42. PC2's on 201.100. If these two PCs are plugged into the same switch, they cannot talk to each other because they're on different networks. Everything on the same network has to have the same network number, but of course you can't have two computers with the same host number. So if I was to change this to 42, I would have an IP conflict because we'd have two different devices with the same network. So we need to understand the network range, where the network starts, and where it ends, so we can look to see if two different devices are on the same network or a different network. You know, this would be fine. So let me give you a third scenario. I'll clear the board and show you one more, and then will reflect. All right, so in this case, I have an IP address of 12.5.67.12 slash 8. So the slash 8, that tells me I only have, I only have 8 bits of subnet mask. So 255, that's 8. So the rest are going to be 0. 
So here's my subnet mask. Remember your subnet mask, once you've got that, that's the map to tell you that this is network and this is host number. So when I'm getting the range of this network, the network number will not change. So that 12 is going to be for all of these, the network address, the first host, the last host, and the broadcast. So how do we get the network address? Well, we turn off all the host bits, which in this case is 24. So these last three numbers are going to be zero. So we are on network 12, 0, 0, 0. Now the broadcast, on the other hand, we have to turn all of those host bits on. So all of these are going to be 255s because all eight of those bits is going to be turned on. That's a 255, that's a 255, and that's a 255. So my network's going to start at 12, 0, 0, 0, and it's going to end at 12, 255, 255, 255 being the broadcast. To get the first host address, we, we take the network address and we add one to the lowest number. So in this case, my first host is going to be 12001. Makes sense. Here's my network number. We just add one to the lowest number and we're done. Now how do we get the last host address? Well, we it's one less than the broadcast. So if we take the broadcast address, we go to the lowest number, it's going to be 254. So my network starts out at 12,000. The first host is 12,001. The last host is 12,255, 255, 254. And then finally, my broadcast is 12,255, 255, 255. Well, let's get the next network. So take your old network address, add one to the lowest network number. Well, I've only got one network number, that's the lowest. So my next network in this case is going to be 13. Most of the time, you're probably going to be dealing with networks that are slash 24, not slash 8 or slash 16. But let me set up a slash 24. I'll put it on here. You can pause the video, work this out on a scrap of paper, and then I'll show you the answer. All right, so here's the scenario. You've got an IP address, 98.12.42.5 slash 24. So first, you're going to get the subnet mask. And what you should do now is pause the video, write this out on a piece of paper, write this out on a piece of paper, and work your way through the problem. Now what I'll do is I answer each one of these. I will pause to give you a chance to pause the video. So if you got it wrong, you can fix it, and you can think about the next step. So, get your subnet mask. So your subnet mask is 24 bits. There's 8, 16, 24, so everything else is going to be 0. So each 255 is 8 bits. Since we're working on an 8-bit boundary, it's, the subnet mask is either going to be 255s or a 0. It's not going to be anything in between. Now we want to get the network address. So I'll pause here for a second so you can pause the video and work up the network address. So the network address, remember it's always going to be, the network portion is going to be unchanged. So our network, the subnet mask is telling us we're on network 98 12.42, and then all you have to do to get the network address is put a zero for the host bits. So our network address is going to be 98.12.42.0. Then what I like to do is skip down to the broadcast address and get the broadcast address next. So pause the video, work that out, and then unpause and you'll see the answer. So once again, Network address never changes, so it's going to be on network 98.12.42, and we turn all the host bits on. So if we turn all eight of these bits on in the lowest number, that's going to be a 255. So my broadcast is 98.12.42.255. How do you get the first host? One more than the network number. 
uh, once again, that's going to be network number is uh, 9812420. So we add one to that and we just get one. So it's our first host that we can have on this network. The first computer that can be on this network is 9212421. And then the last host is just to take one away from the broadcast number. So if I take the broadcast number, work it out. I'll give you a second here. Take, I'm going to take that broadcast number, copy and paste, and I just take the broadcast, which is 255, and make it 254. So, once again, anytime you're on a slash 24, these four numbers, the network address is going to be 0, the first host is going to be 1, the last host is going to be 254, the broadcast is going to be 255. To get the next network, how do we get that? I'll pause here for a second for you to work that problem, to pause the video and work that problem. So we're going to take that network address of the current network. We're going to take the lowest network number, which is 42, because we can see with the subnet mask that this is the lowest network portion, and that's going to be 43. So this network runs from 98.12.42.0 and ends at 98.12.42.255. And that is a quick primer on subnetting IP4 on 8-bit boundaries. If you like this video and you want to see some videos actually leading up to this a little bit later on how to subnet on a non-8-bit boundary, true subnetting, then you can like and subscribe. Take care.